The biggest change can come from the most unexpected individual with the audience at your fingertips. All you need is a little push. Oh, like this? <sighs> this is my moment. This is what it's all about. Relax, matey. You got this. Okay. Is this my recording? I guess so. Hey, Zook! Uh, give me a minute. <sighs> shake it off, shake it off. <sniffs> Your hair is fine. Come on, this is our television debut. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm here. Are you guys ready? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Zook, stand here, right here. Good, and I'll be at this corner. Just like how we practiced. Gotcha. All right, this is gonna be awesome. I'm going to start the recording now. Yeah, it's happening. Time to get famous. Please state your name and introduce yourself briefly. Hey, ya! Uh, the name's Mayday. Hi, Mayday. I wield a guitar, and he is Zook. Hi, Zook. And he plays the drums. And together, we're Bunk Bed Junction. Woo! Hey, Zook. There sure has been quite a lot of electronic music in the city lately. That's true, May. But you know, this city still lacks a certain something, don't you think? Absolutely, May. Luckily for you guys, we have the perfect fix. Why don't you tell him, Zook? Why, May? We're Bunk Bed Junction. And we're going to... We're going to... Junka, um, in their bunka. No, wait. Good night, everybody. That's right, Zook. We're gonna bunka, we're gonna junka, and we're gonna bam in your faces. We're bringing back rock. This long forgotten art used to be the backbone of Vinyl City, you know? So be ready to listen to our super tasty riffs of. Okay, cut. That's a good take. Oh, that's it? Yes, we got what we needed. Now please make your way to the audition stage. Just follow the arrows. Thank you. No, thank you so much. That was mighty sweet. Next! Alright, while we're back here, backstage somewhere, this is a game that prides itself on the presentation more than the actual gameplay, surprisingly, but it does the presentation exceptionally well. For example, Lights Up Audition, is your music worthy? Sponsored by stuff such as Main One, Natural Botanical Gardens, NSR Bank, Tatiana Hotels. There's so many made-up industries and businesses, and it's all really cool if you keep your eyes out for them. How could you forget your line, Zook? It's bunka, then junka, then bam in your faces! I can't help it. As soon as the camera started rolling, I was just... Wow, the lights were just so intense, man! They're teaching you how to roll, which is your dodge roll. You don't need to know that right now. Oh, uh, sorry about the crates. We haven't had time to move them yet. Just make your way around them, will ya? Not a problem, sir. And yeah, you can jump. Right now, you can only do a single jump. Double jump will be unlocked later. You also cannot dodge while in midair just yet. You can only roll while on the ground. And those are the basics. Don't screw this one up, okay? We have to look good in front of the world. Yeah, I hear you. Maybe this time I'll... Okay, shh, shh, shh. We're almost there. Remember, be nice to the judges. Welcome to the Lights Up Audition. Are you ready? Why, hello, you two. Wow. Hello, Tatiana. Right, and you are? We're Bunk Bed Junction. Bunk Bed Junction? Yes, because you see, NSR needs more fans. So we're gonna build a new junction right into your highway so that more people can join this awesome full party. Bunk Bed Junction. And highways Ooh. have no straight roads. Clever. I hope you put as much thought into your music as you did with your band name. So what will you play for us today? Oh, it's something the city needs. We're playing rock. They play paper. We lose. Say again. Rock. 
We're here to bring it back to the top. Just like how cool Fyra did a long time ago. <clears throat> really? Very well then. Show me what you've got. It's time to... Start the arena! Welcome to the NSR Audition, in other words, the tutorial of this game, which doesn't explain what the game is, but it teaches you the basics, like how everything moves according to the beat of music. For example, this drone, all you need to do is listen to the music and anticipate this drone's attacks. So, watch carefully and listen to the music. He'll attack on beat, so you'll want to jump to avoid his shockwaves, and he'll only ever do shockwaves. Cool. Now, different enemies may attack at different times, so some drones may not attack on the same beat as any others. So keep that in mind. Let's uh, let's see how this goes. There you go. Not too bad. Getting the hang of it? Oh well. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm getting the hang of it. All right, time to learn how to actually attack these things. I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller, but I'm playing on the PC, so uh, the button prompts will be correlated to the face buttons on the PlayStation controller. Square button, attack. Mayday has a three hit combo, and she's pretty strong at using it. Now, for one of the weirder mechanics, some enemies will be out of your reach. They are indicated by a thin white frame around them. Pick up ammo and use it to shoot the enemies down. So yeah, you have ammo, uh, but unfortunately, ammo can only be spent on enemies that have this white thanks, this white frame. They'll also attack on beat, but you're just gonna have to keep running around in order to dodge their attacks. Usually, pressing the R1 button will let you shoot off your ammo. Wow, you're rocking and on a roll. Let's end this round with a little celebration. Any prop with a blinking metronome is transformable, like this one. Try transforming it with the power of music, which is triangle on the PlayStation controller. Top face button if you're playing on the Switch. Good. And what about you, other guy? Do you just flaunt your hair all day? I play the drums. Mm-hmm. Initiate the second phase. Show him, Zook! Yeah, I got this. Now it's Zook's turn, and we have a little bit more of a drum beat to the song. So now it's his turn to shine. Mayday is the heavy hitter. Zook is the combo master. I'll explain that in a second. But uh, while you have switched characters, any damage that the other person has taken will be healed off over time. So if you might notice at the top left there, Mayday is recovering some of her health. Anyway, Zook, uh, he relies on drum combos. It's a max of three now, but it can be improved later. His attacks are weaker, but they're easier to cancel. They're great for avoiding enemy attacks. Now, show Tatiana who's the best drummer in town. And there we go. Simple three-hit combo. And he has the exact same shooting style as Mayday, so no need to worry about that. Okay, new move for your rhythm buffs. This is the parry move. It's very weird. I'll just disclose that right now. Some projectiles appear in purple. You can parry these projectiles and send the damage back to the attacker. You must parry them instantly on the beach so they can be tough to handle. They say that it's not always exactly on the beat, and we'll be seeing that in boss fights later, unfortunately. But anyway, parrying. Pretty integral for uh, point scores at the end of a, a fight. Uh, you'll see that these are purple shots, and if we time our attacks correctly, that one was not timed correctly. There we go. We can send back the projectiles as they are fired at us. Alright, yeah, only purple attacks can be parried, so let's end with another celebratory transformation. The parry move, I feel, would be a lot more useful if you could do it whenever on whatever, but that is not the case. And again, it's not timed exactly right for every single time you're able to parry. It's it's weird. But anyway. Honk. Rockalicious. Continue performing like you just did and knock Tatiana's socks off. Very good. Now let's see both of you use the skills to power up the Quasar. 
initiate the final phase. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Music's taking on a different uh, tune this time. Now it includes both guitar and drums. If nothing else, if you don't really enjoy the gameplay, you can just listen to the music because that is a very good way of experiencing this game is just listening to the music. All right, let's shoot these guys down. There we go. That was pretty easy. Most shoot targets are real easy to take down, so keep that in mind for later. All right, more guys. Shoot them down. Listen to the beats. And take them out. I do appreciate that Mayday and Zook have their uh, different colors of transformables. So we're going to try to get that last uh, transformable in Zook's color, just to have a good alternating uh, color scheme in there. Didn't quite nail that dodge. Is uh, that beating in the background to indicate that the enemy's about to attack indicative of a metronome, do you think? Alright, anyway. Transform the last thing. Yeah! And now, time for the finishing move. The Showstopper! Yes! We did it! We finished the course! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, there's so much electric in this room! How do you think it went? Brilliantly. Thought you'd say that. Fellas, what do you think? Mm. Well, one out of six ain't too bad. Oh man, two X-Men? Hey, Come on now. Hey, now wait a minute there. Three X-Men? I wasn't Can't expecting that many. To... Four X-Men. Zook, say something. Um, ta-da. Oh, thanks, Zook. Five X-Men. This is... Hold on, hold on. I'll be blunt. You came here for us to judge you. And it looks like my artists have spoken. You have no future in show business. What? But, 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 but we, we managed to finish the arena and we... We reserve the right to reject you, even if you finish the course. We have the final say in everything. That's not fair! Please, we run on talent, not fairness. This audition is held to find the next best musician who meets our standards of excellence. And you certainly didn't qualify. Well, that's rich coming from a bunch of wannabe artists. See that X? It means you're done. If I were you, I would swallow my pride and use this time to rethink my career. You can't do this to me! I just did. No! I'm an artist! I'm a performer! A performer! I belong on this stage! Okay. You can't stifle her creativity! Enough. Thank you very much. Off you go. You haven't heard the last of me, okay? What do you know about rock? I bet you never even held a guitar in your life! Okay, listen, honey. You think you can just walk in here and drag us all into your silly fantasy? You are so naive to think that rock is still relevant. Stop living in the past. There is only one music in demand right now, and that is... EDM. The age of rock is over. EDM rules this city. And that's our narrative. She has complaints about the narrative. Oh, yeah? Well, how about you take all these X's and shove them up your- They can't do this to us. It's not cool. Super not cool. Can't believe they called us naive. Right? That was bulldozer. Bulldozer, you hear me? I feel you, man. I do. Listen, I know this didn't go as you planned. You think? But it's not good getting worked up over an empty stomach. Why don't we head back first and grab some burgers? On me. Ugh, fine. So as we're taking a walk through these back alleys of Vinyl City, you can see just how vibrant the colors in this game are. Like, just look at these. We're in dimly lit alleyways, but it's still so bright and colorful. 
It's great. All right, let's 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 speed it up a little bit. NSR. We prefer the music to penetrate with the fishes. Stop at the EDM Mart, the ED, ED Mart, buy some EDM for you, or NSR Bank to withdraw your NSRs, or Ben Toys to get premium robot figures. They got everything here. Going all in for the final course. Hey, look, we're on TV. Isn't that great? Uh, oh, hey, Python. Python. I think this is a good time for us to reflect back at our shortcomings. Knowing NSR, they probably have unimaginably high standards when it comes to picking their candidates. Wait, did you see that? We powered the Kwasa to almost full capacity. Hmm, that is odd. Those lying idiots! How could they scrap us when we outperformed all the other contestants? This is totally rigged. We need to take action. But there's nothing we can do about it. There's always something we can do, Zook. Believe me. If you say so, May. Throw a rock into their window, then you can tell them the rock really is relevant. Ah, <sighs> Vinyl City. I'll never grow tired of seeing this. You know, Maybe we're being too hard on NSR. Just look at how much this city has thrived ever since they took over. Oh no, Zook. You did not just say that. Come on. I know it sucks that they didn't pick us, but I like to believe that they did it based on fair, unbiased That judgment. sounds like wishful thinking. People of Vinyl City, this is Tatiana. In light of the recent abysmal performance of a certain duo that we all had the unfortunate pleasure of having to sit through, I would like to announce that rock music is hereby banned from future lights up editions. For a better prospect at winning, we suggest that you stick to what works, EDM. Remember, we strive through order. Order leads to progress in Vinyl City. That is all. Have a pleasant evening. What? What the slimy possum did she say? Oh dear. Zook, this discrimination is so obvious. NSR can't do something like this. Who do these people think they are? Wait, wait. It's freaking unfair. There must be a it's rational explanation for this. And it's May. so, so dopey. May. We gotta fix this right now. We need May. to- May, stop overreacting. Look around you. NSR may be jerks, but you can't deny that they're doing a great job at governing this city. And once again, proven immediately wrong. NSR, bringing order for a greater tomorrow! Zook? Yes? If I could see your face, I'd punch it. What? No way! You see that? I don't believe it. Our city's backup energy is only supplied to the elites of NSR? That's messed up. First, they rejected us. Then, they denied our rights to rock out. And now they think they can keep the energy from the general public? This is wrong. This is an absolute abuse of power. I hate to say this, but I think you might be onto something. Finally! You're making sense! So tell me, Suki, tell me. What are we going to do to someone who messes with the good people of Vinyl City? Oh, we're going to bunk up, we're going to junk up, and we're going to bam in their faces! Yes! Now you're talking! Oh, NSR stands for No Straight Roads. Got it. 
Anyway, yeah, welcome to Let's Play with No Straight Roads. Down there! Looks like DJ Subatomic Supernova is prepping for a performance. Perfect. All right, Zook. This is it. Today, we stand up against NSR. Are you with me? To the very end, May. What do you propose we do? We are gonna hijack their concert. Whoa. No more injustice. It's time we fight EDM with the power of rock. The music revolution starts right now. Right now. Right, right now. Now, Let's right now. rock a talk. If you're still kind of lost as to what type of game NSR is, it's mostly a boss battle game. More like an action game with rhythm elements. So, yeah, that's most of the gameplay is boss fights. I'd like to show all the boss fights with an S rank achieved. However, I can't guarantee that for every single one of them. Just because it's... The gameplay, unfortunately, doesn't lend itself too well to the prospect of getting S rank on everything. But, enough about that. Let's get started with the first boss, DJ Subatomic Supernova. Billions upon billions of organisms reside on this tiny planet, each meticulously designed to fulfill their given purpose. Yet you barely reach the cusp of mediocrity. You can't even handle simple satellite launch procedure. Such incompetence. It's not rocket science. I mean, it is, but... Can someone fetch me some fresh Mr. Dodo ice pops? This one's all melted. Great. What else could possibly go wrong today? <laughs> if you listen closely, as we approach DJ Subatomic Supernova, the music starts to fade in a little bit more. What are you NSR people doing? We're not getting enough electricity, and all you guys do is party! Who are these two? Have they purchased the privilege pass to converse with me? Huh? You don't remember us? Funk Bed Junction! That's who we are! And we're here to stop NSR from controlling everything! The people of Final City deserve to know what rock is about! Rock? Fascinating. Hmm, that is fascinating. Your limited aspirations, your misplaced efforts. You remind me of... Pluto. <laughs> Once thought to be a planet of the solar system, but no longer is. What? Pluto? So, what he just said about us was bad, right? Well, being a dwarf planet is not necessarily a bad thing. Your intellect is strikingly shallow, as everyone else is. What I'm saying is that you Plutonians are no longer relevant. Say what? So you think your music is so relevant, lies it? Don't you know who I am? I am DJ Subatomic Supernova! My music will reach the furthest corners of the galaxy. What have you done today, simpletons? Thumpbed Junction versus DJ Subatomic Supernova! Alright, to begin with, how do you like asteroids? The, the video game, not the concept of them. Uh, the Asteroids are the DJ's main attack during this first phase, but they are also his weakness. Once you bust one of them open, they'll drop ammo. And even though the DJ does not have a thin white frame around him, this is the only way you can damage him. Each Asteroid will drop three uh, pieces of ammo for you, and you can use them to attack him. And uh, as we get closer to the end of the first phase, listen to the music a little bit. It already sounds a little bit different, and that's because we're... Uh, pressuring him a little bit, so the uh, slider at the top there is leaning more towards rock. Hmm. NSR's dominance over Final City ends today. NSR? Maybe. My music. Highly unlikely. For my music will ripple to the rims of the universe and back. Alright, phase two. We've expanded to uh, planets. So now the planets will be the ones to drop any ammunition, but they won't break as easily. For these 
phases, I guess all the phases, I was going to say the first two, Mayday is the best bet to use because she's able to knock out ammo really quickly. Zook, on the other hand, he's still good at getting quick combo scores. Uh, he's just not as good as getting at getting ammo. But he has the same idea. Also, transformables. When Mayday uses a transformable, uh, it will turn into a projectile attack, usually. So... Trying to avoid this attack right here. Whenever he slams the ground like that, the uh, asteroid belt in front of him will attack you. So yeah, here we go. It turns into a rocket. It's just a single shot, and it'll do uh, decent enough damage, I suppose. Maximize your damage output in this fight by attacking planets and meteorites, and transforming the transformables with Mayday. Zook's transformables almost always are defensive, and they're almost never offensive. So keep that in mind. All right, we should have one more hit left. Quite nailed that. I guess nail him with a rocket. Yeah, there we go. Okay, he might need a little bit more convincing to go to the next phase. Impossible. Impossible. Impossible! Impossible! Just surrender, DJ Broken Record! Silence! You have barely, barely scratched the surface of my brilliance! I am done stooping to your level of idiocy! Hey, come on, man. I understand perfectly what you're trying to do. He's trying to rule the- I'm sorry, spin the world? Or maybe not. Tentacles! Now we're into, uh, neon planets. Sure. Abstract planets, we'll go with that. Same idea as the first couple of phases, but he'll have a couple of new, uh, moves. For example, this giant solar laser, which did- that should not have hit me at all, but it did. We're already starting to see some of the odd quirks about the combat in this game. That shockwave that he does there that slowly progresses along the track, that will affect any planets, so if you see those coming, stay away from the planets as they will be doing AoE attacks towards you. Okay, now for this unique part of the phase. You'll send these planets along their own tracks. Obviously stay out of the way of the, the lines. Although the hitboxes can be weird of the, at this point. Like there, I was not on that line. All right, third time he sends these planets flying are parables. All right, and now he's resetting the turntable. We're gonna let Mayday recover some of her health. Keep walloping him with the shoots, the shots, the ammo, the... I still don't know what to call them. Music ammo? I don't know what I'll decide on in the end, but... I'll start with music ammo. Here comes that solar laser again, and I, for some reason it did damage before it even spawned in. That's real unfortunate. The asteroid belt no longer homes in on you, it just gets sent straight forward. Your endeavors mean nothing with a billion stars and a thousands upon thousands of planets. Uh oh. Singularities. All right, time for parrying. Notice that I'm not parrying on B. It's the B after the B. At least it feels like it. Because there's a sound effect in place when they get sent flying at you, and it's the usually the beat before the beat you're supposed to hit. In the moment, it can be very difficult to parry something on a different beat than you're expecting, but it's weird. Whatever. Showstopper time! Finish him! One way to end this. Right you are, Zook! Red light! Green light! Bunker! Junker! Shakalaka, bam! Slam dunked. 
Stage clear. What's a Pluto anyway? DJ Subatomic Supernova, come in. What is going on down there? Hehe. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the DJ is currently out of commission. Would you like to leave a message? What? Who do you guys think you... Hold on. I remember you. You're those troublemakers from the Lights Up Edition. Uh-huh. Bunk Bed Junction. And we're here to bring back rock. You can't be serious. You better believe it. We're not stopping till we claim our fate. And bring change to the system. Yeah, that too. Oh, police. This city has had enough of your tyrannical control. It's time we give the people what they want. Stop with the theatrics. You think you're better than me? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The age of rock is over. That's where you're wrong. And today's win is proof that the power of rock is stronger than ever. What do you say to that, huh? Persistent piece of... Well... Fine. You wanna take this road? I say, bring it on. We have the force to deal with the likes of you. We fight with order. And you have no place in our system. If that's what you stand for, then we want no part of your stupid regiment. It's time we fight for fairness. For the people of Vinyl City. We fight for... The little guys! Zook, come here! Put your hand next to mine! Huh? Oh, uh, okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Just hold up your pinky finger! Oh, like this? Now, yeah, Put your like hand that. next to mine! No, the other side! Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> A bit more to the right? No, my right. But I was moving to your right. No, you just... Ah, never mind, move left. Like this? More! Left, uh, left, yeah, left, yeah, left, yeah, left, yeah, left, yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah! For the little guys! Alright, and that's the end of the fight, so we get graded on time, damage taken, combo score, parry score, and then we get an aggregate, aggregate? Average total based on those uh, points. 98,000 equates to shakalaka bam, that's an S rank, and you get uh, fans. Interesting way of uh, leveling up here. You get the DJ Subatomic Supernova Platinum Disc Mars Attack for May Day. One with the Universe for Zook. Broken Helmet, a collectible. Cassette tape number one, another collectible. Base track unlocked for another run of the stage. Tokyo Machine remix, again for a rerun of the stage. And the Christmas remix.